Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Today I'm going to show you a really cool feature of Safari and the dashboard called Web Clips. Web Clips lets you take a portion of any of your favorite web pages and install it right on your dashboard. So let me give you a few examples. Let's say on the Mac Help for Mom homepage, you'd like to take the most popular section here, which I update once a month, and install that on your dashboard and have it automatically update. Well, what you would do is go to the File menu and select Open in Dashboard. It then makes it so you can select any portion of the page. You can see sometimes it understands what a uh, well-structured part of the page is and other times it's kind of lost. So fortunately it understands that this is a grouping here. So I'll click on that. Then all I have to do is click on this Add button over here. And it puts that in a new widget on my dashboard. So let me drag that up in the corner here. So now come January, when I update that section on the website, so it's the most popular in December, if I come back here to the dashboard, this will automatically update and just show that portion of the page, which would then be the top five articles in December. Okay, now let's say instead of my weather widget and stock market widget, I'd like something a little smaller. Well, it ends up on the USA Today website, they've got this nice little compact section here of weather and stock market indices. So let's go do the same thing with those. Go to File, Open in Dashboard, go over here. Now you can see it will let me pick one or the other, but let me just pick one and then I'll show you what to do here. I click on that and now I can grab one of these handles and expand the selection to include the markets. And now I'll click Add. And there you go. Takes much less space than these two widgets here. Doesn't have as much information, but still, if that's all I need, that's a really handy way of doing it. Now, let me show you a more active one here. Let's say I want a widget with the recent NBA scores. Well, same thing. Open Dashboard. Now you can see it doesn't understand um, that whole section. So what I'm going to have to do is just click here and then drag one of these handles to select the whole thing. It all depends on the website. Sometimes it'll understand where a section is and sometimes you'll have to kind of drag it to make it work. So let me add that. And you can see, not surprisingly, since it didn't have much of a clue when I first selected it, it kind of got confused here. You know, it uh, has the title halfway down here. Well, that gives me an opportunity here to show you how to go edit this. Like most widgets, it's got this little I button in the corner. So if I click on that, and then click on the Edit button, it puts me into this mode where I actually I can actually drag it around here, and it kind of snapped there. And if I wanted, I could resize the window too. Now, even though the games only go here, sometimes they'll have uh, games listed all the way out to that arrow there. So I'm going to size it like that. And then now I'm done. And hopefully it will remember that. So now, um, if I come back here in a couple days when there's uh, more games, um, this will update with the scores and the upcoming games. Now, let me show you a really cool one. Um, this video actually was inspired by a friend of mine, Tom, who uses a lot of widgets, but had no idea that he could do these uh, web clips. 
Well, Tom's company is Spider Tracks, and here's their YouTube channel. And like most YouTube channels, it's got a featured video that will change from time to time. So let's say I want to put that on my dashboard so that I can always see what his featured video is. Well, look at this. Once again, should be no surprise, I'm going to go to Open a Dashboard. And I'm just going to select that. Click Add, and here it is. But, let me pause it here. As you'll see it immediately started playing because Tom has his channel set so that uh, the video is autoplay. I had just previously paused it. So what this means is every time I come to my dashboard, this video is going to start over. So watch, I'll go away, and then I'll come back to the dashboard. And there it is. It refreshes and starts playing Tom's video. Here they go. I'm going to pause that. And uh, just show you one more thing, which is um, okay, having some issues here with these two. Well, actually, this gives me another opportunity. Um, I don't know why it's not getting the Mac help for mom thing here, but if you click in a widget and do a command R, watch this. That is a way to tell it to, to refresh. Okay, now the last thing I want to show you is um, some widgets, like uh, if you have a YouTube video in here, you can actually click the play and pause button and it'll all work right within the widget. But uh, others, if you have links like this, clicking on them will actually take you out to Safari. So let's say I click on the link that is how to take a screenshot. It will open up a new tab in Safari and take me right to that page. So there's lots of ways you can use these web clips. Just remember to create them. You have to be in Safari. None of the other browsers can do this and it's in the file menu and it's called open and dashboard and uh, just use your creativity you can grab pretty much any section of any website and install it on your dashboard so have fun with that